how are you today? Sorry, I couldn't come back to you because of the power outage in our area. Okay? I'm so sorry about that. But already I've told you what you are supposed to do as your exercise in class after copying the notes that I gave to you. Okay? So the place it says practice the questions and answers. So I want you to take your time to do as teacher told you. You have to use, let's say, when does he do gymnastics? He always does gymnastics before school. So I told you, you have to use the seven uh, subject pronouns. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. And use the adverbs of frequency, like always, usually, sometimes, never, to make sentences. So in all, I will be expecting seven sentences from you, using I, you, we, the, he, she, it. And your verbs must include maybe like play, or read, or do, or study, or practice. If you have other verbs that you want to use, it's, so, it's up to you. It's okay. Okay? So you can look at the activities in your book and use any of those. Maybe what they say, practice karate, or do homework, or do gymnastics, or read email. You can choose other verbs. There are a lot of verbs to choose from. That's what we've been dealing with, how to look at our verbs in different forms, in the simple past form, in the present, or in the future, and all that. So that's what I expect you to do. I also would want, uh, but let me show you first. So look at what I was talking about. I always play tennis. So you can change the subject from I to use different uh, subjects, like I is one, then you can use you or he or she it we they then using all these uh, adverb of frequency like always usually sometimes never okay then choose any verb that you wish to use for it then choose play or practice or do or study or read there are a whole lot of them you can also choose any of these activities from here you can choose your own activity as well. But I want to see how well you understand how the sentence will change if we use different uh, subject pronoun in making the sentence. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. All. This is what you're supposed to do in the class before the power outage. Then I'll, I will be sending you another uh, homework on your Facebook page. So tomorrow, we're going to look at all those together when we come into the class, OK? I think that will be all about it for now. I'm sorry, and I promise that is not going to repeat itself. We are trying to show up our power system and make sure we've got backups so that in case of power failure, we could have something that we could use you know, so that students don't uh, suddenly be cut off from our Zoom class, okay? Thank you for your understanding, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in class, and please be in time. Bye-bye for now, and I'll see you tomorrow.